Hey, good morning, church. Um, happy Wednesday to you. Uh, last night at our prayer time, uh, we started by uh, looking at Psalm 130, and we just read it and just reflected on it and, and prayed from it. And I just, it's just a beautiful passage of scripture. And so I just wanted to read it for you and to just say a brief prayer uh, on this Wednesday morning for us. So Psalm 130. Out of the depths, I cry to you, Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my cry for mercy. If you, Lord, kept a record of sins, Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, so that we can with reverence serve you. I wait for the Lord, my whole being waits, and in his word I put my hope. I wait for the Lord. More than watchmen wait for the morning. More than watchmen wait for the morning. Israel, put your hope in the Lord. For with the Lord is unfailing love, and with him is full redemption. He himself will redeem Israel from all their sins. God, we thank you so much for your word, how it speaks to us how it reminds us even in Psalm 130 that we can cry out to you, that we can call upon you in our pain, in our distress, in our worry, and that you listen to the cries of your people. And God, we thank you for the redemption that you have given us through Jesus Christ, that we are forgiven, that we are freed from the power of sin and death over us. And God, we want to wait upon you, especially during this time of, of so much craziness in our world. We need to wait on you and remember that our hope is completely in you. So I pray today for us as a church that you would call us more deeply to yourself. And that we would be a people who are unshaken because our hope is in you. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Church, I want to just invite you, just if you need a place to go in Scripture this week, go to Psalm 130 and just read it slowly, pray over it, and just soak it in. And I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon.